Welcome to Trappist Nation. My name is Andreas and today we will review the Trefontaine Triple. The story goes something like this. On June 29th in the year of 67, the Apostle Paul was beheaded during the reign of Nero. It was said that his head bounced three times and fountains miraculously just sprang up each place where it touched the ground, giving the location its name, Trefontaine, the Three Fountains. The first religious building to occupy the site can be traced to Constantine the Great during the reign in the early 4th century when he established a church in the honor of St. Paul. But if we move forward uh, 1500 years to present time, the monks at Trifontaine were in dire need of new income. Uh, since the monks have been distilling liquors since 1873, switching up to uh, brewing beer only seemed natural. The problem was that the monks had no idea what kind of beer to brew. But thanks to the discovery of an ancient beer recipe, the monks began brewing using the surrounding eucalyptus uh, as a spice. Uh, the same trees that were planted centuries ago to get rid of the uh, malaria. Several years of intense work and tinkering with the recipe, Trefontaine's triple was released in May 2015 and was called Bira de Monachi, uh, Monk's Beer. So using eucalyptus in the brewing process is no easy task and the success relies on the right mix and the quantity of the leaves along with careful monitoring the uh, time they spend in the boil. Um, it's like making tea. If you leave the bag in the hot water too long, it becomes too strong and too bitter. So what does it taste like? There's uh, spicy and herbal notes in the glass. There's some citrus like lemon and, and orange. It's very well pronounced. I, I find some hints of pear and a little bit of, of mint. And yeah, of course, the ever present scent of uh, eucalyptus. And when you taste it, you find the ripe fruit, some herbal and spices. A little bit floral, there's um, honey sweetness, slightly yeasty, and uh, yeah, the eucalyptus, of course. Um, it's, it's a little bit funky, to be honest. Uh, maybe not what you should expect from a triple. Uh, so, what's my verdict? I will give Trifontaine's first beer a 3.3 out of 5. Thank you guys. Next week we are reviewing the beer from Tint Miros from the monks of Mount St. Bernard Abbey in England. Cheers and don't forget to subscribe.